So you're thinking about moving to Water Creek and you want to know more about living in this area? Well, today's video we're going over all the popular areas of town and the neighborhoods and what you need to know about them, so stay tuned. What's up guys, it's Rachel Capel here with Keller Williams Realty in the East Bay area. If you want to know all things about the Bay and what it's like living in the East Bay, we got you covered. Make sure to click the subscribe button down below, smash the like button if you're liking these videos and keep those questions coming because we love them. It helps us to give you guys great value and feedback on each city in the Bay. So keep them coming. All right, so up first is the Bancroft neighborhood. So this area is just off of Ignacio and it's going to be near Heather Farms and Diablo Hills Golf Course. Now this area is going to be a little bit you know pretty convenient to downtown there, there's going to be a compilation of renters and people that own their homes so the average price point here for a home is uh, roughly on the upwards of 800,000 now you're going to have a compilation of smaller single family homes but also a majority of townhomes and apartments because of its central location to downtown and Heather Farms Park which you guys have heard me talk about it's this awesome park that you can basically bring the kids to to have this fantastic day there is a huge lake um, in the middle of it there's a rose garden. There's an area where there's a ton of hills and also a gigantic play area for the kids. They have playgrounds for both little and bigger kids, but I think oftentimes bigger kids tend to like this area, this playground, because of just the functionality for them. And there's also a skate park around the corner and playing fields for like soccer and baseball. So Heather Farms is a huge part of this area. So you're going to have kind of some uh, single family residences sprinkled in here, but a majority of townhomes and, you know, you've got the golf course there and you've also got shopping right across from Heather Farm. So it's going to be a great real central location that you'll really enjoy loving and I'm sure you've seen some footage of me you know, driving around Heather Farms and taking you on a tour of the area but you can see a little bit more here. Okay, next neighborhood on the list is the Walden area, and this area is going to be kind of central to the Bay Club, which is this gigantic sports center kind of club that a lot of people enjoy working out at and enjoying the pool there. So the Bay Club is right down there, and there's also John Muir is a big central business down there, and you a lot of people go down there for their doctor's appointments. This is not the actual hospital, but this is more of the building and the offices of where you would meet doctors and, and whatnot. Those are two huge businesses down there that are located in this particular area and there is also Pleasant Hill Bart which is neighboring the neighbor is not part of the neighborhood but it's actually neighboring to it so this area is going to be primarily renters average medium rent is going to be about 3,800 you will have some residences that are sprinkled in that are single-family homes that are owned um, versus renters you know but it's going to be kind of a central location close to downtown in the freeway and Bart so you're going to have mostly renters down here and the average rent for this area is about 3,800 average purchasing of a home, condo, single family residence, if you can find one in this particular area, is going to be about $750 to $850. And now these prices all vary based on when I'm shooting this video, but just so you kind of get an understanding, this particular location is very close to the central area near the freeway. So if you are going to be commuting, you're going to be taking, you're going to be getting on the freeway really quick. You're not going to have an issue. And you might even, depending on where you're located, be able to walk to BART from here. And again, you've got the Iron Horse Trail there. So this particular area is a great location lots of activity down here people walking getting outside taking that iron horse trail we've got the hospital building there and the bay club which people absolutely love so great central location nice community and the average rent here is about 3800 and there are some places that you are able to purchase here but obviously you'll have to look into that with me on to the number three neighborhood alamo slash saranap area this area is going to be nestled next to rossmore and the six 80 freeway and downtown Wanna Creek. So this area is absolutely a beautiful area, primarily made up of single family residents, some high rise apartment buildings built anywhere from 1940 all the way up to 1999. Now, oftentimes these homes will be built early 1940s and then owners will basically renovate them and make them absolutely stunning. So the single family residences here are gonna be nestled in amongst the trees. They're gonna have a good sized lot and they're gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Just 
custom designed home anywhere from four to five bedrooms so you can have like a medium sized home to like a larger size home so just primarily built for families and I thought a few interesting statistics on this neighborhood and we know technology breeds success so these neighbors in this neighborhood are going to be amongst the most wealthy the top 15% income earners in America is what we're looking at here in this neighborhood so the kids will have great schools to go to and you are going to be neighbors with the top earners in America and in this neighborhood you're looking at real estate upwards of 1.2 at least and above All right, now on to the Northgate and Castle Rock Road neighborhood. This neighborhood is primarily owner-occupied single-family resident near Northgate High School and Shadowbrook Winery. This area is a beautiful tree-lined street, very, very, very nice. Three upwards of five bedroom homes. Some are going to be in the 1940 range all the way up to Currently, 2021, these owners have, some have kept it original state, some have updated it, but this area is a very desirable area because of the location and the schools are great and it's neighboring Heather Farms, a little bit upwards of Ignatio, so you're gonna have to factor in a little bit of a commute, but it's a very beautiful area, just like the Saranap area. Saranap is a little bit more woodsy, a little bit more country, kind of more spacious, depending on your location. This area is gonna be a little bit more condensed with the homes kind of tract homes built a little bit, not necessarily tract homes, but similar developments of communities in the area. And, but it's also gonna have good acreage and upwards of three plus bedroom homes. Some have been renovated, some have not. So primarily owner occupied and these homes are gonna run you. I feel like the average of Walnut Creek is $1.5 million for <laughs> this area. It just keeps climbing. I would say at least again, like the Saranap area, a minimum of 1.2 to three and above, so. Don't be surprised if you're spending 1.5 to 1.7 in this neighborhood, just like Saranap and Alamo area. It's just getting more and more expensive each day and the schools are excellent. The families here are either executives or again in technology, but we could find out more online about the stats regarding that, but I'm just giving you a little neighborhood overview. And one of my favorite things about this area is it borders Shadowbrook Winery, which is an absolutely gorgeous, newly renovated winery that you should go check out if you are ever in want to create. There you have it, some popular neighborhoods in Walnut Creek that you might want to know about. Keep posted, I'm going to be going over all the different Walnut Creek neighborhoods so you can have more in-depth conversation about it. And in the meantime, if you're liking the content, smash the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned because we have more videos coming out each week. And of course, check out the videos above because if you want to know more about Walnut Creek, I have a ton. All right, have a great day, guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Bye.